But this time I'm fully focused. Ow. Okay, maybe not, I'm not that focused. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Slormancer. I'm Nerman to the gentlemen. We will continue the adventure in the graveyard because we got ourselves the compass shovel. And well, I failed it last time this area. I failed it miserably because I could not avoid the fucking archer. But don't you worry. This time I'm coming back. I've actually managed to get a level up. Uh, between the episodes and I now got another level of mastery in my arcade missiles <laughs> And this should bring me victory. I think I don't know additional mana Yeah, so I can upgrade this thing ten times I can upgrade this thing once arcade missiles does belong to the temporal school Okay, I guess for now. I, I don't think that's actually quite necessary. We'll see uh, arcade missile has like no cost yeah, so you can upgrade this thing 10 times in total. So you can actually see how many times you can upgrade a particular talent. Uh, I think this one is actually quite good, right? I can missiles do additional damage. Okay. Ah, so I can have equipped one up, uh, affix per, per tier. Okay, so I can pick one from the first one. I can pick one, I think, from the second one, and so on and so forth. Okay. So, invest some more points into this thing. Good! Good power rises! And also, I probably should try to pick a talent points, right? So, a really cool thing about this is that the game actually will tell you what you're gonna get once you invest, like, maximum amount of points uh, into this, right? So, if I'm gonna invest all of the points over here, I'm gonna get uh, 300 rough damage, critical strike, and stuff like that, right? So... Mm, leech damage, leech life, okay. Skills, chance to ignore armor. I'm using magic, so I don't think I actually have to ignore armor. Does magic applies to armor? I mean, does armor applies to magic? I mean, to my understanding, that doesn't work that way. I think, right? Something like that. Shadow resistance, light resistance, uh, max mana and. Strike chance, aura increase effect, mana no hit, inner fire duration, you have life regeneration, zeal. Okay, so there are some interesting, like, uh, trees you could try to build over here, that's for sure. What about this one? Toughness, okay. Savagery. What is something related to intelligence, huh? Willpower? Dexterity? Bravery? Determination? Fury? Hmm, okay, I don't think there's anything. Related here to intelligence, actually. You have plus 50% area increase effect if you have less than 20 mana. Eh, uh, sure. Max mana, damage over time. Yeah, I don't think I got any dot spells at the moment. So let's go with the red one, shall we? So I'm gonna invest, like... I'm gonna build myself a, a glass cannon at this point. Wait, can I just... Can I just remove those points? Can I, re, re, like, change my talent trees? Oh my god. I think I can. Thank you, Dev. Thank you. That's so kind of you that you actually can change. Uh, I think you can change your builds on a class. That's so nice in games like this because most of the times, when it comes to games like this, once you build yourself a character, that's it. You know, that, that's it. You can kiss that sweet other build that you wanted to test out goodbye because you have to start the game from the fucking beginning. Thank you, developer. Thank you! <laughs> Much appreciated! <laughs> At this point, I can basically one-shot archers. <laughs> that's great! That's awesome! Oh, that's a conga line. Okay, fire! Nice. Nice, keep zapping, keep zapping. Keep zapping! Yes! Maximum power! Level up! Level 10! I can now pick myself something! I don't know what, that's like a specialization thingy, I guess, okay. And that specialization is supposed to unlock some unlimited abilities, unlimited skills. Yes, I will make this world change its orbit and fly it to the sun. <laughs> because the inhabitants of this pathetic kingdom don't deserve anything better than that. Ah, shit. Here comes some mini boss, of course. Why not? Why not, right? Every single goddamn time when I have, when I start to have some fun, you need to throw a goddamn mini boss at my face. Why not? Why not, game? Yeah, sure. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Come on. You wanna play a chasey chasey? Of course you do. I'm just one shotting your allies. How about that, huh? Okay, how much I actually hit you? 180, 17, 15, 18. Okay, that's that's like I would say decent damage. At the time being, at least for now. 
<laughs> come, you pathetic monsters, come! Face your ultimate death! Specialization! You have an access exposition class. Oh, really? You can choose between three specializations. Each has its own set of passive along with a unique support skill. You can change your specialization at any point. Awesome, that's what I wanted to hear. Become devoted scholar. Oh, max mana, forms, crowd control. High damage, critical strikes, mana regeneration. Arcane commander, defense, radiation, mana regeneration. Support skill. Unlock support. Movement. What? You summon a temporal clone, whatever you currently stand, and instantly teleport towards target location. The temporal clone lasts 8 seconds and disappears after being hit. He does, not, he does nothing much, really. Okay, what about this thing? You create a barrier in front of you that catches up three projectiles. Once arcane barrier ends, cough projectiles are sent back towards the target location. And this thing? You create a wall of omen at target location that lasts 6 seconds. Enemies passing through Wall of Omen are slowed by 40% for, for 6 seconds. Enemy projectiles passing through Wall of Omen have 90% reduction projectile speed. Okay, let's just go with this thing, I guess. You have unlocked a support skill. Press spacebar to use it. Lovely. Alright, this thing has levels on its own, apparently. Whoa. Mana cost. Slurm fight. Hey, this could be handy. Yeah, I'll be able to have more points into this. Okay, and also get a mastery in... Oh. Layer of Operation deals 51% increased damage. Increases damage is equal to your presence of missing mana. Oh. Well, hello there. And this is only upgradable once. But this actually could be very handy. How nice. Thank you, game. This means more power. More power. Something I really do enjoy. So let's actually see how the special ability will work, huh? <laughs> well, my, my clone died instantly, so that's perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the laser is awesome. Yeah, the death ray is awesome, man. I'm like a walking death star at this point. It's wonderful. <laughs> Power. Unlimited. Unquestionable. Power. Very nice. Okay, Mr. Archer, round two. I remember our last encounter that didn't went too good, but this time I'm fully focused. Ow. Okay, maybe not, not that focused. Haha. <laughs> nope. Okay, well, I have to deal with the trash first. Okay, deal with the... Ow. Why are you not dealing with my clone? Ow. Okay, that's one way to deal with you. Shit. Oh, come on, I got stuck by a fucking lantern. Ow. That's not even funny at this point! <laughs> You've missed! You've missed again, you dipshit! Ow. Well, it's going a little bit better. Not perfectly better, but a little bit better. And he's outside of my range of my death ray. How dare you! How dare you! Okay, there you go. Woo! My Schlorm Reaper have advanced. Woo! That was close. Oh, hello. Who the fuck are you? Gold Prospector. There's another villager. They have noticed. This compass is actually helpful. You don't say. I mean, like, I'm going only one way forward anyway. Thank you for getting me out of this sordid place. I was able to see a few valuable goods before you came. I'll show you my loot when we get back to the village. Sure, woman. Whatever. It better be worth my time. Let's put it this way. Villager back in town. Okay, I'm guessing it's you over here? Yeah, hello. Hi there, sweetie. Well, hello there. Hi, handsome. My name is Gianna. I buy and sell all kinds of rare objects. Look, I'm getting rich. We should be able to do business. You can take a look at my goods if you want. Uh, which goods are you referring to? Oh, those goods, okay. Right, equipment. You, uh, to unlock the equipment sale tab, I have to pay you, so that you can sell me your items. Are you fucking kidding me at this point? The fair price sell. This tab lets you sell items you no longer want. If you ever send an item by mistake, you can visit the... Okay. Drop an item here to sell it. Wow, 20 gold. Wow. 
Wow. Really? I, I don't feel like I'm getting cheated. No, not at all. Son of a bitch. Motherfucker piece of shit. I've heard about cheap traders, but that was just beyond my understanding. Hey, if you want to repair the shovel compass, I need my shovel compass repair kit in the fine Korea. Great, finally we can do some progress. Yay! Level 8. Ha! I'm above that. I left my shovel compass repair kit here. But I don't remember ex exactly remember where I left it. I need a few minutes to remember. Careful! Monsters are coming! And... Oh, hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody told me I have to have to face an arena. But sure, by all means, get around, children. I have laser beams for death of forever of you. It is actually a survive wave encounter, isn't it? Pathetic. <laughs> you will... <laughs> You will bow down before my power. Every single one of you will kneel eventually. Yeah, uh, not that hard. Thank you. Oh, I have to defeat 12 waves. Are you shitting my ass right now? Oh shit. I mean, I'm just leveling up. Not a, not a problem, man. Not a problem at all. I like. Oh shit. I like how the game is saying me uh, on each wave like good luck. There's no such thing. As luck in combat, only pure skills, pure unadulterated skills, and I know exactly what the fuck I'm doing over here. No, I don't. Shut up. Okay, laser beams of death. Hmm. Okay, the mini boss is actually really fucking persistent. You know, he goes for my death beam, bay thingy, like this was nothing. I mean, it should at least slow you down a little bit. Oh, oh, another wave instantly. Okay, sure, why not? You know, let, let's add a bit of a fun to the to the party. Yeah, you want to spawn another wave? You want to spawn maybe another wave? Come on! <laughs> spawn another wave for me! <laughs> I'm waiting! <laughs> it's gonna be lots of fucking fun. Yeah, so the waves just keep on coming. Okay, this, this could actually be an interesting way to make a combo. Just give me a second. I have to just deal with the archers somehow. <laughs> Let's see how much I can abuse the system and probably not die. I'm gonna abuse the game mechanics over here, boys. Come on, come on. Get to the corner, boys. Get to the corner. I need to have a clear shot at the archers. Okay, I'm not getting a clear shot at the archers, that's for sure. Well, that just sucks. That just sucks all of the balls in the kingdom. Including the shovel. And... Right, more of them. Okay, kill this, as many archers as possible. Ow. Whoa, that's a lot of them. Okay, I may have actually overdid it a little bit. Okay. Plan B. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Fire! Keep coming, boys. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Yeah, death and destruction. Okay, well, I lost a lot of health. So that probably was not the best of my ideas. <laughs> oh, what the f That's a new type of enemy. Holy shit, what is that thing? Oh my god. Finally! A war for your opponent! Oh, we're gonna have so much fun together, man. We're gonna have so much fun. Okay, that. Kill the archers. Thank you. And... Whoa! So we got both the damage. And the fucking skills, and the hit points, and everything. He's a, like a weight dream of a sorcerer come true. Finally, I can test the full of my abilities on some real target. Not a pathetic doll that makes no damage whatsoever. Because I just keep running around in circles every day, single day. Oh, come on. You took that arrow for your friend. Well then, I'll make sure that you pay for it. With your remaining on living life. And one more way for remaining, I guess. Uh, yep. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Not this shit. No, no, not this shit again. Ah, crap. Okay, this is bad. This is actually really fucking bad. This is tremendously bad. Okay, I. Oh, come on. Not good, not good, not good. 
I'm gonna die. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna not die. Super archer boss. Ow. Stupid son of a bitch. Ah, fuck. Thank you too much damage. Ow. Stop guarding his face! I want to murder him! Need to get some dist distance. Well, we should stop there! Fuck you! Oh my god, my first green item! Wow, magic stats. Sure! Wow! I'm no worthless <laughs> piece of shit any longer. I actually have a decent boots! Alright, let's try the encounter with the mage one more goddamn time, shall we? Okay, that was close. Ow. Ah, that was close. Just keep my distance. I, I mean, I have to be honest, you know. The uh, the archer bo the archer mini boss, the archer champion, is actually a bit of a challenge for me because I cannot keep up track with his goddamn arrows. I know what you're thinking. You can clearly see the arrows fight once your stupid face. Yeah. Well, well, thanks for the information. You know what? I appreciate it. Ah. Oh, come on. How the heck you managed to hit me with that thing? Why is your arrow a size of a fucking, I don't know, car? Thank you. Yeah, that's a nice critical shot over there. Woo! After you deal with the trash, and he doesn't have any cover more, it's actually quite easy. Thank you. Ah, you're going to laugh. No, I'm not. I remember now. I brought my shovel cup as a kit back to the village a few days ago. So, this is my cabin. Well, uh... So okay, can go back to the village. I am going to murder you. I'm going to murder you in a way you can't even believe that I'm gonna... Maybe it's around here. What is that? I am gonna murder you. With that fucking shovel. I, and then I'm gonna dig out a hole with the same shovel and put you in. And then I'm gonna make sure that you're really dead. With the same shovel. It's all good. I got my kid back there. I made some, I made some repairs on the shovel compass. I just have to reach the crypt of the Mac Reapers to unreef the destroy of the destructible and unbreakable seals. The crypt is located at the far end of the graveyard and we'll have to cross a very dangerous area to reach it. Let's get going! Yeah, of course I have to do the heavy lifting because your shovel is a petty nothing, good for nothing. So that's great. I have to go this way? Why not that way? The shovel compass indicates a bridge in this area, so make a detour to destroy it before heading back towards the crypt of the McCreepers. You may also find a new villager here. I don't want to find any new villagers over here. If you can like, throw me another vendor villager, that I will have to pay 5,000 just to unlock his shop, then that's something I call bullshit. The shovel compass is going haywire. There must be a bridge nearby. You don't fucking say! You should destroy it. Really? Thanks! Thanks, Merlin! Thanks! Much of fucking appreciated! Dipshit! Uh, right, you guys want to, I don't know, group up together? And of course, archers! You can have an ar graveyard with that pack of archers every fucking five meters, right? Right! I actually would like to see some new enemies, you know, around here. Like, we've seen that big ass champion with the big ass sword once! Only once! I want to face an army of those bastards, you know? Like, fighting with them looks like a lot of fun! And the only thing I'm getting is some. On the drogues, so, I mean like, I've, have you ever played a multiplayer online ring playing game? Hey, have you ever seen a dead rogue? You know how, how annoying it is to kill that stupid shit? Especially since it's all, like, all the time in fucking stealth. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be so stealthy, you know? In the fucking bright daylight. Yeah, yeah. In the middle of the fucking desert. And I'm gonna be stealthy. How, it's not invisibility, it's stealth. Explain me how the- I know I left an item over there. How the hell does that thing work, huh? How does it work? That you can activate a stealth ability on a desert, in the middle of the desert, a bright day. Oh sh- oh, come on! No, not the action again! Please! Oh, it's a good boy this Christmas, you motherfucker! Okay! Sayonara! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I have to use that special ability, I think, a bit more often. Yep, ow. Yep. What's the timing over here? Yeah, I've improved my arcane missiles. Just for you, you dipshit. And I bet that was a good investment. 
Thank fucking god. Anyone that is? The fuck are you? Hello? Thank you for getting me out of this mess. See you back at the village. You look like you have a bucket on your face. The hell are you? A bucket man? Well, let's find out, shall we? Villager is back. How much money I have to pay you to unlock your store? Huh? Huh? Because this one over here thinks I'm a fucking simp. Now I just have to pay her so that I can actually get access to some inventory, okay? I'm a puddling at the service of the king. Normally, I am in charge of the administration of the village and make sure everything's running smoothly. Like other puddlings, I have some artifacts talents, and with the help of the Pedro Solar Compass, I think I'll be able to help you. If you are interested, I can show you areas where the presence of enemies is particularly intense. They must be important for Oham God if he mobilized troops there. If you wish, you can go then. You can then go to the indicated region and regain control of that area. Contact me when you want to leave an expedition. What? Expeditions let you go to new unexplored random areas. From the menu, you can choose where you want to go and apply a difficulty level. W rough. That suits you. You only have one choice and amount, but more expeditions will soon be available. What the fuck? Rewards. Unlimited flows. You can leave with five or more bridges left. No wars in case of defeat, no penalty in case of defeat. The hell is this? Raft locked. Okay. <laughs> Add cataclysms. Content unavailable at this stage of early access. Yeah, well, you don't say battlefield. The heck is this thing? At the start of a new floor, Brian will draw a seal of protection. While you stand on it, you are immune to environmental effects and invisible to enemies. The seal will disappear as soon as you step outside of it and as soon as you hit an enemy. Got it. Wow. So what, I go around and kill shit? Okay, well, it's not like I have been doing this thing for the past an hour or so. Activate the seal. Okay, is there like a time limit? I don't see any time limits. Should I be aware of a time limit? Oh. <laughs> I wonder how many I can activate at a time. <laughs> Apparently a lot. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> okay, sure, why not game? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's test it out, shall we? Okay, I've closed it already three of those. Right, open up a bit more. Can I open one more? Yay. <laughs> I mean, I am a master of EOE damage, right? Let's keep it to that, shall we? A Reaper, I hope it's a rare one. Stuff of trainee. The fuck is this? Weapon of drugs. I found a slow Reaper. It has automatically been stored in your... What? It looks like a stuff from some poor old man that appears in a village and tries to identify your items, you know? I can equip new ones. Okay. Experience gain. Whenever you deal damage to an enemy, you have precise percent chance of deal additional damage. Chance is equal to your current level. Additional damage is equal to your total experience gain. Okay. So, it's actually a good idea to run with this thing at the very beginning because you actually get experience points? Sure, I guess. Also want to point out that the new stuff actually made me a lot weaker. Yeah, normally I would one shot that archer and this is no longer the case. I used to hit for like around 200. Now I hit for barely like 17. Yeah. The other weapon was actually giving me a huge advantage if you think about that. Well, shit. Isn't that just great game? Isn't that just wonderful? Of course it is. It's it's a bright day here in the fucking cemetery. You know, old Bobby did just rose up from her dead because I don't know why his wife fucking called him. Okay, sure, why not? So what's gonna happen if I'm gonna close all of the rifts, all of the bridges? Moving forward. Now that enough bridges have been destroyed, you have a choice to either get get back to the village to collect your rewards or move to another floor and continue the expedition. If you choose to continue, you run the risk of losing influence and rewards. If you are defeated, talk to Brian either way. 
Okay, so how do I go back? Ah! Head home. Okay. Influence. You gain influence whenever you return victorious from my expedition. Use influence when you are defeated or when you run away from the expedition. But what does the influence give me, huh? I don't understand what the influence actually gave me. Maybe it lowers the prices? Maybe I don't have to fucking pay 5,000 gold for something? Hello! Also, we got a new stuff, so that means we can now talk to the stuff collector over here. Excellent, excellent. I hope you like it. Did you know? Slorm Reapers can only be found by destroying Slorm Breaches. If looking for a new Slorm Reaper, it's best to look where the breaches are appearing in the large numbers, like expeditions. Wow, thanks for the info. Too bad it's a bit too fucking late. Right, this is a so I think this is actually a good moment to leave this episode us over here. We've uh, got ourselves expeditions, we've got ourselves some special abilities. And, well, I can now apparently teleport around, which is kind of fancy. And, well, I am also unlocking some proper gear this time, like actual rare items. I mean, rare items. Those are common items. Right? A common? No, those are common, uncommon, rare, epic, and so on. Yeah, so, I mean, it's progressing, right? It's actually progressing. Uh, I need to level up this thing, that's for sure. Maybe I'm actually gonna try to go to the other levels to uh, increase the level of this stuff, because I bet it's supposed to increase my experience gain, which would be nice. No, because that means I could try to level up a little bit faster, and that means we could become more powerful uh, sooner. But that's gonna be the thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna try to achieve probably during the future episodes. If you want to try the game yourself, link in the description below. As always, so go ahead, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And well, we'll see how the Reaper will deal with the upcoming threats of the graveyard. But that's gonna be the thing, as I said, for the future episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks a lot. Have you? in the next video.